Didn't know you guys were there. What's going on? So today we're going to be talking about the shoulder press. Um, it's a great exercise to add into your routine to really build those boulder shoulders. We're going to take you guys through a couple of the common mistakes we see because a lot of people do it incorrectly and we'll also give you guys five different variations in case this exercise isn't exactly what you want it to do. Let's jump into it. Alright, mistake number one, we got the half repper. I'm sure you've seen your buddies come in, grab 120 pounds. So as you can see, there's the bottom half repper, who isn't getting a full contraction in the shoulder. And then there's your pom-pom cheerleader, who's just pumping it. They're out fist pumping it up to the sky. Those are both not a shoulder press. This one's gonna surprise a lot of people, but this is not appropriate shoulder press. This is appropriate shoulder press. You want the dumbbells to be comfortable here. You can see this is a very natural movement for my shoulder. Whereas here, when I have my arms fully extended, putting my shoulder in a very uncomfortable position. So rather, this should be your pressing point. You can see my arms maybe on a 50 degree angle here, and you're pressing straight up, and you'll be able to fully contract your shoulder. Go ahead at home and just play around with that, and you will see it's a huge difference. Okay, weight management. This is something I fell victim to as well. So originally I was doing like 80 pounds for like 12 good reps. So I'm like, I'm gonna jump to the hundreds. But instead of my 80s where I was getting good full reps, and strong contractions, my hundreds I'd be going here. And I consider that just as good. And even though this falls into the half rep, don't fall into the weight trap. If you up your weight and you find you can't do a proper rep, keep it that way you're at because you need to be able to do the weight properly and the slowly your form just gets worse and worse. It'll start from this to this to this to this and then it, there's just no going back. That's why it's very good to hold yourself accountable. Have your buddies call you out if you're not pausing or you're not doing full range of motion. We received a crazy amount of positive feedback from those of you who watched our lat pull down variation. I highly recommend you checking it out if you haven't already. If we can get this video to 200 likes, um, we'll make this a regular thing, just you know, taking the exercise and finding variations and correcting it. You'll see here I'm doing full range of motion reps, I'm controlling the weight, and I'm keeping my shoulders in a nice and safe position to press. Number one, we're gonna be starting off with the one arm standing shoulder press. This is an exercise Josh actually so, showed to me just about a year ago, um, and ever since then I've always been in love with it and always made sure that it was in my routine. So you'll see a lot of people, whether they're using dumbbells, um, or barbells, when they try to get the weight up, they'll have one arm a lot stronger than the other, and they'll kind of be like lopsided and have to do some funky maneuver to get it up. Um, this is an awesome exercise to really focus on, um, on you know, building that symmetry. Uh, it's cool because you can work one arm at a time, really isolating each shoulder, um, and you'll feel it a lot in your core as it works on stability a crazy amount. Next up we have the close grip dumbbell press. Now this is an exercise where you're gonna feel it a lot more in your anterior delt. Your lateral delt, not as much as the previous exercise we just showed you, but your chest will also come into play and be activated a fair amount. Next up we've got the classic Arnold shoulder press. Now this is an exercise that requires a rotational movement throughout the press portion of the lift, which actually increases shoulder stability and targets the inside shoulder muscles at the bottom of the lift. Now this isn't exactly an exercise I would you know, replace with the shoulder press, but it's something that I'd like to add in, um, you know, sometimes after like a heavy set of dumbbell presses, just as a nice burnout with like 30 to 40 pounds for eight to 12 reps. Next up, we've got the overhead press, which is one of the best absolute exercises to build raw strength and power. Unfortunately, a lot of people, especially beginners, do this exercise incorrectly. Now, one great thing you'll notice here that Josh is doing is that on the way up, he's tilting his head backwards at just as the bar is trying to pass and then once it passes he pushes it forward and this is the best way to really activate all of the shoulder muscles within this exercise. Moving on to number five, we have the push press. Now the main difference between this and the OHP is within the push press, your goal is to really drive through those legs, really get that explosive power um, from the bottom as well. Whereas in the OHP, your legs are gonna be used to really stabilize the weight. Great thing about both of these exercises is they have great carryover to other important exercises such as improvement on the bench press.
Instead of leaving it there, we felt it was necessary to address common overhead pressing mistakes. Um, here you guys see I'm pressing in front of my body, and then here I'm pressing too far behind my body. This is gonna just destroy your balance, and quite frankly, I find it to be absolutely pointless. Next up, I'm leaning way too far back here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my lumbar is rounded like a madman. Very unsafe pressing movement, and just, you know, very pointless to be doing. So make sure you maintain a neutral spine within the movement. Here you'll notice I'm looking up through the entire movement, therefore my shoulders aren't being activated as much as they could be if one of these mistakes happens to be something that you do please fix it because you're killing your gains day by day by doing incorrect form okay guys i really hope you enjoyed this video and you're liking this series this is something we might start up um, very often if you haven't checked it out we actually have the lat pull down we show you how to correctly do it five different variations it's going to be in a card top right right here um, but in the meantime please subscribe to our channel give it a thumbs up and uh, we'll see you in the next video peace don't you think it's perfect and the feeling's worth it When we're getting down, 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 down And everything you've searched for is right here on the dance floor And you want it now, 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 now Mistake number one, let's call them Kyle Groudon raps What? <laughs>